Hello everyone, my name is Ashley and I'm here with Crossrealms today to show you an in-depth look into Microsoft Word 2016. This will be the first in several videos explaining how to utilize Microsoft Word. So to get started, we'll need to create a blank document from a blank template. So we'll go to our new button and hit blank document. So now that we have Word started and our document is brought up, we see here where we type and then we see along the top the navigation ribbon. On the ribbon there are kind of several different tabs. Um, we'll go in depth with each of these tabs in future videos. So if you want you can take a moment to get to know them yourself. Um, there's a, a lot of different things you can do on each of them and we will cover most of them. Especially the most useful ones. So to get started this video is going to cover some basic setup things. Um, we're not going to get into formatting documents or anything in this one. We're just going to do some simple little uh, tips and tricks. So now that we have an overview of what we're going to see here on this screen, we're going to do some basic things. So let me pull up my document that we're going to use today. Okay. So this is just an old meeting document that we haven't used in a while. And it's going to be our decoy here. Okay, so first we're going to show you how to search for text within a document. So it's really easy. You go to the Home tab, which is the first tab, usually the one that it's always on, and you come over to the Editing section over here and click Find. It pulls up this navigation window here, and say I want to find the word... Uh, say I'm looking for the word the. I want to know how many times I've used the word the in the, uh, throughout the paper. Um, you see all these little highlighted sections. They are, well, not all of them are the, but where T-H-E comes up, that's what it highlights. So we can see all that through there. If you're looking for a specific word like, um, let's see, ISO, and we can see where ISO pops up. And you can click these up and down arrows and it'll take you to wherever they are. Um, the other way you can do this um, to pull up that search find is um, hit control F and there you go it pops up as well and that's just a little keyboard command okay next I'll show you how to find an object within Word or you know go to a certain place so we'll come back to that home tab we so going back into the editing section but instead of clicking on find you hit the drop down arrow and hit go to here a little dialog box pops up and you see page, section, line, bookmark, comment, all kinds of different things you can choose from. Make sure you choose the one that's specific to what you're looking for. So say I want to find uh, a graphic. I'm going to type in graphic 2. Then we're going to come down to graphic 2. Takes you right there. If I want to go to graphic 1, takes me back up to the Cross Realms logo. So that's how you find things within a uh, document. Okay, so now we're going to do some quick little tidbits here. So along the top here is called the Quick Access Toolbar. It's, it's usually all blue. It mixes in with the tabs, but it's a separate little bar itself. It's where you exit, minimize, you know, do all that stuff. But this is specifically the Quick Access Toolbar. So if you click on this little drop-down arrow, you can see a bunch of different um, options. You can do a couple different ones. You can do show below the ribbon, which brings it out of this blue and brings it down here into the bottom. Most people don't because usually they have their rulers out, but um, it's up to you. And then if you want to bring it back up, say you accidentally do it, you just click on that drop down arrow and hit show above. If you want to add something to the quick access toolbar, it's really simple. Go to the drop down arrow, hit more commands. And then you can pick which one you like. So say you use a lot of tables in a lot of your papers and you don't want to go to the insert tab all the time. You can hit draw table and do add. And it brings it over here. Once you hit OK, that button will pop up at the top. So now you can just draw a table wherever you like. Type, type, type. And that's how you would do that. Say you don't want that up there and you go back to more commands. You highlight the draw table and hit remove. Or you can always do reset, but 
you know, it's easier to do this way. <coughs> and then if you hit OK, it disappears. OK. So I'm going to show you a little bit about Backstage View. You might hear people call um, the file tab on this Backstage View. A lot of people do. I know when I was first learning about it, I was a little confused. So um, when you hit File, it comes up, you know, you're new, you're open, you're save, save as, share, export, import, all that kind of stuff. That's like, the, that's the same basic stuff. But now we have all of this, this info tab here, and it's really useful. Um, you can do many different things with it. You can do, obviously, save as. Um, but you can also see the properties of your document over here along the side. And this is about 86.6 kilobytes. You know, it's got six pages in it. It tells you all the little details in it. Um, you can also add a title to it. So say I want to make it a meeting document. And that's what I'm going to title my paper here. And if you want to add some tags, so if anyone's ever searching for it, you can hit ISO, meeting, cross realms. You can always delete that and put whatever you'd like, really, whatever your paper contains to. If you want to add some comments about what it's about, you can always do that as well. You can see the dates it was last messed with. Um, last modified, it was today. Um, last, it was created um, today. No, yesterday. This is yesterday's date. And then it'll always, no matter how many times I've downloaded it and reused it and everything, it always keeps the author. So Miriam is one of my coworkers. She is the author of this paper, and I'm the last person to modify it. There's a couple other things you can do um, in the backstage view on the info tab. You can do something with protecting your documents. You can do a couple different things, encrypting with a password so that only you can get in or people with the password. You can do restricting editing, which is you can share it, but nobody can edit it. So there's different settings you can go in there. And mark is final. This is where it makes it only a read-only document for people you share it with. Also, you can check it for issues, which you can inspect a document. This gets rid of hidden properties or personal information. So say you don't want your name to be over here, you can click that, and it'll get rid of it. <coughs> you can check for accessibility issues, which accessibility issues is for people with uh, disabilities that might, you know, you know, can't say someone is trying to read your document, but they have a hard time seeing. You can do um, accessibility, and it can, they can have their screen reader come on, or you know, however, whomever might need help with their disability. And then there's check for compatibility, which is this is just bringing it over to uh, like an earlier version of Word. So if, say if someone's using 2007 it would check to make sure that it's completely compatible with 2007. Uh, lastly, there's the Manage Documents, which is really useful. Um, if you ever, you know, your computer shuts off without you knowing and you didn't save your 10-page paper, well, this is perfect for you because I've used it 100 times. It lets you <laughs> recover those unsaved documents that you've accidentally lost. It's really useful. Um, of course, it only auto-saves every once in a while, so you have to kind of like, you know, give or take, it might not save, a, it might not have saved all of what you wrote, but it'll definitely save a majority of it. Okay, so um, that's just a little bit of the beginning of these videos. I didn't want to go in depth of how to like edit or change a lot of the settings or modify a lot of the document in this one. So we'll definitely start um, doing that next time, starting off with the beginner things. If you would like to tune into that one, we should be posting it soon. And as we go, we will progressively get a little more in depth and getting to the more tricky things like tables and table of contents and such. So keep an eye out. Thank you.